Welcome back, fans of Geometric Methods. We have our previously created form, which is this, what I'm calling this distorted quad, the oculus, the red st central elements. So suppose we wanted to build off of that <clears throat> uh, to create another polyhedra stable three-dimensional structure. <clears throat> One way of doing that might be to come up with a new base radius. And incidentally, I um, changed this slightly from the previous video in that I had um, spheres A and C being one radius, you can see, but spheres B and D being a different radius here. So I'm controlling those radii by, um, you know, not really a slider, but um, just a, a inputs, right? Inputs, that's all I'm doing here, just inputting things. So playing with that. Um, okay, so now I added another um, radius, and these could be meters, you know, uh, whatever you want. And now I made four more spheres centered on the distorted quad. So I'll call that sphere uh, E, F, E, F, G, and H, those four, right? And then um, I have some circles here. So for instance, circle F, E is the intersection of sphere F and sphere E, as you could see that. And then um, circle uh, G, H, for instance, is the intersection of spheres G and H. You could see that, and so on. So I have four new circles here, uh, which I just labeled as E, G, uh, F, E, G, H, and F, H, or H, F, okay? And then what is, again, endlessly fascinating, to me at least, is the intersections of these circles now um, help me form find. So this circle here, um, that circle intersects two other circles, right? It is intersects that circle and that circle. So uh, I can get those intersections here. Let me hide those circles. And then you could see the intersections. And again, I have a, a kind of a fantastic looking space up there and there's nothing magic about um, the um, numbers that I created here. So I have my new oculus sort of up there. I'm trying to maintain that oculus in plan view to keep it really open. Um, but again, the theme is repeating here that it's a distorted quad that is made up of two uh, triangles. So I added four more points uh, to my structure. That means I need 12 more struts because each node has uh, three dimensions, uh, three degrees of freedom, excuse me. So I add uh, my other uh, struts in here. And what I did was, I uh, think you could see it here, maybe, okay, let's stop that. Um, so I have a new, I think I'm missing one strut here, let's see, there it is. Okay, so now I have uh, a new, level to my structure and I have a lot of control over that because of course if I change the the radius uh, of the base that forms those uh, points I can immediately get new geometries and of course just you know simply moving the points themselves on the ground, which which starts the whole structure. You have an infinite number of 
shapes that I think are beautiful. Uh, again, I'm trying to get these panels to be flat. Uh, so they are on the sides. You could see the new uh, green surfaces are indeed flat. Let's make that green. Which really helps me with cladding if there was um, even glass, right? Imagine a glass tower like this. Well, anyway, um, I hope that you are as excited as I am about this because I'm pretty pumped up about making these uh, polyhedra sequentially in a very controlled manner, yet in a playful manner. Okay, let me know your thoughts.